1048, welcome back. We're in the Fox 61 by Carrier Kitchen talking about recipes that are tasty, but also good for you as well. We're saying hello to Grace Volo. Hi, Grace. Hey, guys, it's Grace. No matter what day it is, weekday or weekend, sometimes you just need a big bowl of pasta to get all your stresses to go away. My dad used to make pasta with oil and garlic for me and my sister all the time and it just brings back so many memories. It's so simple, it's just thin spaghetti, lots and lots of garlic, olive oil, parsley, and Parmesan cheese. It's heavenly, heavenly good. The only thing is, if you don't want to smell like garlic the next day, make sure you don't have this because there's a lot of garlic in this, but that's what makes it good. So let's get started. So it starts with a lot of garlic. I have here a ton of garlic cloves. This is about a half a head of garlic. It's about six very large garlic cloves. Um, and I also have here some freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. You can also use just regular Parmesan cheese or Romano or Pecorino. And then I have some beautiful fresh parsley here. And I like Italian parsley, which is also flat leaf parsley, not the curly parsley. Curly parsley barely has any taste. Um, the Italian parsley is the best, definitely. So I'm gonna take my garlic cloves I'm going to stick the garlic cloves right in. I have like a mini little food processor blender thing. So you can either use a food processor or a blender. Just make sure that the blade goes down really far because you wanna make sure that the garlic cloves get all chopped up really nicely. And then I have some olive oil. So I'm gonna add a half a cup of olive oil in here, which is quite a bit of olive oil, but it's for a full pound of pasta. So this is, you know, your sauce. You wanna make sure that your pasta isn't dry. That goes right in there. Lovely. And then I'm going to put this right on the top here. I'm gonna let it go. All right, it looks perfect. It's almost like a garlic puree or garlic oil. It's perfect, that's exactly what you wanna go for. You wanna make sure all your garlic is really chopped up. So I'm gonna leave that in there. The last step before we put the pasta on the stove and cook it, how simple is that, is I'm gonna finely chop this parsley here and I'm going to just take my knife and run it through the parsley. Try to take all your stems off if you can. I know it's a little extra step, but the stems are not pretty and they don't taste good. This parsley is gonna go right in with the pasta effort after it cooks. So I'm gonna go ahead, boil my pasta, and then I'm gonna assemble everything. How simple. Let's go over to the stove. So I have our garlic olive oil mixture in a pan here over medium heat, and I'm just bringing it to a simmer. You're gonna want the garlic to simmer for about one minute before you turn the heat to low, and then you're gonna start adding more ingredients. All right, so it's been at a simmer for about a minute or so. I'm gonna turn our heat to low and I'm gonna add just a dash of hot pepper flakes. It's totally up to you how much you wanna add. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. I'm gonna give it like a nice little stir, just like this. And then it's time to add my pasta. So I have here a bunch of thin spaghetti. Thin spaghetti is a little bit thicker than angel hair, but it's thinner than spaghetti. And it's like the perfect vehicle to sop up all of this garlic oil. All right, I'm gonna add that right in. Whoo, that. So over low heat, you're gonna wanna stir around your pasta in the garlic oil until it's well combined. So all of our garlic oil is mixed in with our thin spaghetti. And then I'm going to add in a little bit or more like a whole lot of chopped parsley. This will add just a touch of green, freshness. And then I have my parm, my grated parm. I'm gonna add in a handful of that to the top and I'm gonna mix this in. So you might notice that your pasta is looking just a touch dry because you added the parsley in there and the pasta and the cheese. So I'm just going to finish the pasta off 
with maybe a tablespoon more of olive oil. Toss it again. You want it to look a little bit glossy like this and it's ready to serve. So our pasta is looking just fabulous. Look at how pretty. And if you could smell this room, you would be in heaven, just like me. Try to make it look pretty. It's time. Big bite, uh-oh. Let's see if we can get this on. Mm. If only you could smell my breath right now. You would understand how good this is. It is the perfect amount of garlic, the back heat, the salt from the cheese, the freshness of the parsley. Check it out on tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it. And make sure you download the free Fox 61 News app. That's where you'll find recipes, links, and videos to all the delicious meals and treats that we feature here on the Fox 61 by Carrier Kitchen. We'll be right back. Stay with us.